Hello everybody, today on the table we've got this power supply for ASICs, for mining bitcoins, for powering specific application specific ICs, that's how they call it. I've got the same in the previous video and this one is also something like ant mining but different different company but the insights are usually the same let's check it together here I have the power cord from my isolating transformer this is the transformer itself that's the company let's turn it on here is the lamp you should check it now I'm gonna turn the output to this and the lamp always stays on even though you see I'm not lying that's Oh, yeah so by doing this we made sure that the fuse is okay but there is a problem in the primary side something is shorted so we've got to figure out what I'm gonna turn it open and see together what's inside I remove the screws open this so and we know that the fuse is good actually I already looked inside and uh, there there is no need to have a multimeter since we can see this capacitor is burned but it's not actually the bur why it's burned itself because that transistor at least one burned it kind of badly and the transistor itself there is a crack and at least one we should remove we should remove all this radiator in order to get it out so that's what I'm about to do right now. When I remove, I will show you the result. In order to remove the transistors, you just get it like this and wiggle it around slightly and gently get it out. You see? So easy. Because <laughs> For people who close to repair knows that this is not true. I've used a lot of soldering wick and get some trouble because there is a locker underneath. So take some time. You see this coloration, this one is definitely burned. The capacitor is good itself, but the shrinking tube at it just a little bit melted. But this one should be okay, but we, we will check it. Let's quickly measure. This one is open to drain the source. Gate to Gate to the drain almost shorted. This one is good. This one is good. And the diet is bad. It is shorted. So it's not really difficult to replace those. So I'm gonna check everything more carefully. By the way, uh, on the gate of this transistor, I see one resistor is 
definitely blown I'm gonna show it to you right now and I haven't noticed it right from the beginning that this cap the second one is really bulging out this one not so much this one not but this one is really popping out so probably maybe one maybe two capacitors lose lost their capacity and that's why those guys are gone that's very often on the PFC section because after this coil the capacitors are subjected to high stresses this is active PFC okay probably now I will try to remove all those three I don't really know whether it's worth trying but since we started we should try anyway the gaps are removed this is the first the best looking this is our third not bulgy but this one is not looking good but actually it's not too much damage this one is the second and it's kind of bulging from this side and when I removed I noticed probably there was a short on the legs and the legs itself are melted here and here and these are melted I've never seen anything like this anyway let's test those just for the record the tester is blinking on camera and this one is 300 microfarads ESR is good, wheel loss is good so so was expected this one is okay let's check the burn with a burning mark but I've seen this is was the reason to blame for all that stuff so here is 313 ESR is good losses are good so 313 20% below it is usually so this one is also good and what about this and check it and you see 70 nanofarads 17 of course this is not the way it's supposed to be okay so I replaced resistor found a new cap a good one slightly less capacity but higher voltage and I'm gonna put it first on the coil very often you see 450 volts after PFC but these are 420 anyway let's put everything back here I have new not new used one but good transistor put all old ferret rings on the gates this one is new let's see 
maybe we are lucky and this board is alive I don't know it's slightly melted because of hot air but let's try I soldered everything back and I really hope that this is gonna work because it was a lot of work so as we might remember when I plug this cable without turning on the button the light glows anyway let's see well so far so good but probably now we see some sparking and seems like PFC is working yes and it's trying to start let's try to bypass it like this there won't be enough power anyway but it should be enough for testing yes it is it is working now I can connect it directly to the mains hopefully that should be okay as well Yeah, it's working fine. We fix it. So probably this time I'm not gonna test it with the load on the video. Nothing interesting, I suppose. It's gonna work like no problem. Should be 12 volts, and it is 12 volts. That's good. That's good. That's the caps. So we fixed it. It was it wasn't easy as you saw but this one is ready to serve the second life the video is getting too long anyway I'm not gonna show how to I'm gonna assemble everything back it's not interesting so far we know that it's fine and if you like it give it a like see you next time have a good day goodbye